Kathy, we stepped outside because it's so beautiful today. Um, I'm with Phil Steinhauer, who is with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. Right. Got it. Yeah. Yay, first time ever. <laughs> um, we're talking about sustainable landscape, and you've helped us in the Nine Backyard. You designed this, right? I did, and then ALCC installed it just about a year ago this time, so we thought it would be nice to, to show us what give you, you a tour of what we well, did and talk about some of the practices. Well, Mike Grady's going to show us talk. Okay. Do the pointing for us. Do well, the man of white. First, we've done some layering of ground covers, and part of that, we're covering the earth. Um, we've mulched everything, and this used to have pop-up irrigation and we've incorporated you can see I down love here the columbines yep. too by the we've way we've got some colorado columbine and we've got a drip zone um, so we changed this out converted it all out to drip um, which is again conserving water which is so important for us here, here in colorado, colorado. Um, we've also used plants that are going to be conducive to this hot we've talked a lot about how hot this garden is this one gets such direct heat with yeah. no wind that comes through really unless it's coming from above. So you have to think about all those things. You do, and so we don't want to put plants that are going to require a ton of water. So we've got plants in here that are very xeric and will tolerate um, the heat that we get here. Um, Tell me as we move along, what's So we've what's got here? we've got some birch leaf spirea in the front here. Oh, I like spirea. We worked with uh, these existing, and you can see how healthy they are. We right. cleaned them all up and got new irrigation on them, and they look a lot better this year than they last do. year. Um, and then we've got this spiky one here as an allium, so that'll have a purple flower um, mm -hmm. in a few more weeks um, with some vinca. Um, we've also remulched all the beds. Um, and this garden has had really, you can see how healthy it is, has had really no care as far as fertilization, pesticides, any of that kind of stuff. So that's part of what you're designing when you're thinking of designing this is not only based on the water and everything right. else and the sunlight where Things you get that the are sun. Be in harmony with nature. You don't want to have to do a bunch of fertilizer and stuff like that. Exactly. Okay. So again, the less we can do to put on in the, you know, pesticides, herbicides, all that kind, the healthier, you know, we'll all be. This looks amazing. Now, I don't know about hail, though. Can you do anything to prevent hail? I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, that's that, the greatest yeah, thing yeah. in Colorado. Already goes, that's no, you guys in the weather department. I know. I know. We talked to Kathy about that. <laughs> Phil, you did a great job. I hear there's talk of you doing much more, so there'll yeah, be more to show our viewers. Yeah, we're talking about the ALCC participating in the... Uh, doing some updating in here. Okay, and if you need help, call a designer, call ALC or call them or get somebody out there to do all the heavy lifting in your yard, but think about all those things. We'll be right back.